Well, here it is, the latest Ford Cargo 1848T. And I know exactly what you're thinking. I can read your minds. You're thinking, how many branches of the ugly tree did it hit on its way down? Well, I think a better word is distinctive. Distinctive's good, it means it stands out from the crowd. And it certainly hasn't done the Renault Range T any harm, has it? Now, before we get started, let me dispel one myth. This Ford Cargo has nothing in common with the Langley-built Ford Cargo that we used to have. Well, except the name. That's it. Entirely new cab, entirely new driveline. It's pretty good. Let's get something straight. This isn't a Scania S-Series, but it doesn't pretend to be. This is a 60,000 euro truck. It's built in Turkey, for Turkey, the Middle East, parts of Africa, and now the whole of Eastern Europe as well. And for those markets, it's, it's spot on. The engine is a 13 litre Ford EcoTorque, 480 horsepower and two and a half thousand newton meters of torque. Not that I'm using them because this one's unladen. Highlight has definitely the uh, ZF Traxxon gearbox. Now this is the same gearbox that appears in the new generation DAX. Really quick. Um, not so keen on the steering, it feels a, a little bit vague, but other than that, yeah, it, it, it ticks the boxes it needs to tick. Visibility is pretty good. Uh, the A-pillar's a bit thick, and I'm not a huge fan of these DAF CF-esque windows within a window. It does obscure your vision a little bit. Curiously, um, both sides, you've got a low-mounted window in the door. Rather like the one Sadiq Khan likes in London. But interestingly, in Turkey, most drivers paint over them because they prefer their privacy. I forgot to say, I'm, I'm driving this truck in Romania, where Ford has just opened its latest dealership. Now, the roads aren't perfect. In fact, they might even be worse than ours. But the ride and the handling are pretty good. In fact, I'm impressed. And the retarder. That works a treat as well. And it comes in handy each time a stray dog runs out in front of us. As far as the interior is concerned, I don't know if I like it or not really. I'm indifferent. Uh, it certainly doesn't offend me. The dash is very car-like, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But this steering wheel, that could definitely do with controls for the audio and for the cruise. The engine hump is quite big, so cross-cab access isn't fantastic. But it's a bit like the driving, really. It does what it needs to do. This truck isn't coming to the UK anytime soon, but if Ford wanted it to, it could, because it's got the Euro 6 engine and it's got all the necessary safety equipment as well. But it is now available in 31 different countries, including 15 Eastern European countries, which means we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of them on our motorways. And because of the way it looks, you'll definitely notice them. <laughs> 